Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Aftermath. My name is Ian. Mm. Yance, what you guys up to? <laughs> I can't. That was such a fucking pregnant pause. I couldn't stop mm. laughing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, um, man. <laughs> so do you guys want to just jump right into this one? I never have any desire to do anything but jump straight into it. Okay. Like, Especially well, with horse sense. So last week, we kind of, I had offered up the, uh, the idea of horse sense. And I think, uh, um, I don't think that they really took me seriously, but, uh, <laughs> we, oh no, I, I full well expected to No, that, that was, all, it, it. Was, it was put on the watch list for yeah. sure. Okay. Well, I wasn't sure if you guys were actually serious about it. So I was joking around <laughs> about watching it. What I have watched this What movie. I didn't expect was it to not be garbage. Right. <laughs> I, it was on the movie as like, we got to watch horse since lol. Uh, we, we boys on yeah. the farm. Yeehaw. Didn't expect to enjoy the movie. Yeah. I enjoyed the movie so I, much. It came out in 1999. And I'm almost certain that throughout the early 2000s, I watched it a handful of times at, at some point in my life. I don't life. think I ever did. Um, uh, it was wow. like, it was in that, uh, it was in that time frame for me where like there's a handful of Disney Channel original movies that I watch and that was one of them. Um, they just kind of came on every like few months or so or whatever. Yeah. And, we're uh, showing you horse sense again and we're like, yeah, yeah, horse sense. Mm. Yeah. And stuff like, you know, Xenon and, you know, yeah, Smart really, House and all that kind of stuff. God knows what else. I don't yeah, a whole really bunch very of much. They're all a little bit before my time. I want to call them DCOMs. <laughs> Decom. Yeah, Disney Channel original movies. Just in case we ever want to watch another one, we have a nice little acronym yeah. we can spit out there. This is a decom episode about Hyants. About Hyants. 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 It was the full fill with Hyants. Um, yeah. So this week was Horse Sense, if you guys couldn't tell. Man, especially I when we teased it last week. Not. Get Such over how much I enjoyed this movie. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm so mad that I am. The, uh, he that, liked I'm, it. that I'm older than two of the both of the main characters in the movie, and I enjoyed this movie so much. Still, it, it was so much better than it had any right to be. In the lead, exactly in the lead actor's defense, I'm pretty sure he's playing a 20 year old, but he is obviously a 26 year old chiseled man. I think, yeah, <laughs> I'm, but I possibly. Well, I, at least I was pretty happy about that. Is that he looks like he's like a 20 something, and he's playing a 20. Oh, 20 of course, something. yeah. Wait, whereas all the movies where it's like, if you've seen Riverdale, and it's like we're playing. But like me 16 and sixteen year olds. No, like, yeah, me and no. Dylan. I, we realized this after we looked it up. After I looked it up, they're talking about how they're sophomores in Riverdale. Those no are like twenty six year olds. They're so playing much. fifteen year olds. Yikes! They're There's like, oh yeah, we're acting like we're fifteen. They're all like chiseled, like twenty seven year old men. <laughs> and I'm like, stop it! This is why people can't get over high school because their expectations are you thirty year olds. <laughs> Every time I like, watch this show, I we're not going to talk about Riverdale, Dylan. I know you hate it and it's crappy. It's poorly written. I know. I'm all to die. It's it's so poorly written and he cannot handle it. <laughs> no, I've never wanted someone to die so badly. He hates every single character in that show. The only character he doesn't hate is uh, the butler because he just does his job. <laughs> Which is exactly exactly the way you should it's look at it. It's not hard to write for a butler. Evidently, mm -hmm. that's the only character this motherfucker, whoever, whoever the fuck wrote the show knows how to write. <laughs> is the butler. And you know what? Good job. Immediately when I started watching the show, though, I was like, oh, it's the butler. The butler totally did it. <laughs> I was like, it's always the butler. So apparently he was actually 23 when he played the movie. So not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. Off. It's not too far Interesting. off. Um, but anyways, so uh, like I said, it was kind of a joke to watch this movie, but then it, of course, at least in my part, because I wasn't sure it was going to be taken seriously, but here we like, are. Oh, ha, ha, yeah. yeah. Well, now that, sense. now that we're here, <laughs> it is entitled oh. to everything that other movies get. So um, describe the movie in three words. I think I might have mine. Um, oh man, there's so many good like quotes we made in the movie. Corn just swoggle my horn bucket. <laughs> no, no, that's not quite it. I don't um, think that's three words. <laughs> horn bucket it can be. Darn you, word. city boy. Right, Darn that's, you. That's hyphenated, but that oh, one works. Yeah. Yeah, that one's I was gonna say horse sense is tingling, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, is horse sense one word? <laughs> no, horse sense is tingling. Oh. Three, it's three words. I thought you said horse sense is tingling. No, no, hor horse sense is tingling. Congratulations, <laughs> Ethan, you've won. Uh, but I was also uh, maybe thinking of like... Uh, <laughs> what were some things like, that Twister said? Um, on. Uh, I was trying to think like... like, like uh, he says a lot of stuff. The Muddy Boy Farm or something. Yeah, I don't know. Muddy Boy Farm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if we have funny. to describe it in one word, naturally we're all oh, going oh, to decide oh, upon it. I got it. I got it. Oh, never mind. I thought we were all going to agree upon Hyance for oh, our yeah, one word whoa. description. <laughs> but okay. Uh, pretty Boy Simp. 
<laughs> oh, oh, there it is. No, oh, actually, cool. though, that is the that is that the, the thing is we always joke about describing the movie in three words. That one actually does accurately describe yeah, yeah. that movie in, at in least, three words. At least, yeah, honestly, I think City Boy Simp would do better though. City Boy Simp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, I have it. I've updated it to the final form. Nice. City Slicker Simp. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It, that's it. That is we should, oh right there. Right there. That's the episode name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, City oh slicker gosh, sips. That's it. Yeah. In oh, fact, man. we could also add sense on the end of it. City slicker slip sense. <laughs> no, that's too much. Too much. No, it's perfect. Oh, oh okay. Man. So the simp sense. Uh, simp sense. <laughs> that's, that's, they're, dude, they're, they're tingling. As, um, well, if there is a simp in the sixth sense, we have to name it the simp sense. <laughs> simp. My simp, simp senses sense. are tingling. <laughs> but okay, so the movie is about. Oof, there's just. Okay, where do we start? Yeah, <laughs> where do you start? What a so, great first act to a movie. Honestly, oh. like, okay, so it's <laughs> it's about a boy from yeah. Montana yep. who lives on a farm, <laughs> mm-hmm. okay? Honest boy. And his cousin, the, the boy, the, it's worth noting, the boy's dad got sick and died recently. Yeah. yeah. So he lives with his mom yep. and the two people who help on, on the ranch. farm on a ranch. Yeah. Um, and then... There's his cousin, aforementioned City Slicker Simp. <laughs> yeah, let's see. We're, we're gonna get to City Slicker yeah. Simp. Don't worry, Michael. So, no, 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 Zyler. Zyler. <laughs> and or because Kraz. because he Kraz. looked like such a Zyler, and I just recently finished watching Gravity Falls, and Kraz and Zyler are the perfect douchebag <laughs> names. I called yeah. him Kraz, and then quickly swapped to the fact that he looked more like a Zyler. Um, <laughs> so, and the reason why is because in the first, he looks like such a preppy boy. Oh, he's got like his sweater because he has his sweater like tied, tied around his, his neck, neck with like yeah. a, it's like a, a little cape on him. Yeah, yeah, and like, dude, he looks like a straight up asshole. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be honest, he looks like the kind of guy that yeah. I do not want to ever pick up in the ambulance because he sounds yeah. like he'd be so annoying yeah my gosh i hate him he's also a rich kid so duh but he is that's so farm boy that's his cousin right farm boy's mom her brother is uh, having a family over in los angeles yeah. and so his cousin is like 20 farm boy is 11 all right mm-hmm. and they get along really well and so the movie starts with him uh going off to los angeles to hang out with his cousin um, who is super cool and going to take him to Disneyland and crap. It's going to be it awesome. One hell of a sim. All right. And, well, we, we haven't gotten that yet. So we're going to go to Disneyland and all that cool stuff, right? So then he's like, but mom, you need help around the farm. And she's like, I can handle four days, son. I can handle it. And he's like, all right, mom, I guess I'll try and have fun for once. So then he takes them. He takes Even though they uh, don't it have. It should be noted, they do not have the yes. trademark it, Southern Twang. They don't at all. Because like, from Montana. I mean, it, some characters, but it, whenever the movie gets later on, it, it picks up. Like, there are people with Southern accents. They got the back, oh, they got yeah. old backbone and mule. They oh, got all backbone. sorts. Backbone. Um, <laughs> oh, man. So. Uh, I like calling him Whiplash, too. Yeah. <laughs> whiplash. <laughs> so. He goes to Los Angeles, and the big plot point here is that whenever he goes to Los Angeles, his cousin uh, has a new girlfriend, and they just hit their two-week anniversary. She's an absolute uh, whore, and no one likes oh her. Oh, my gosh. Uh, her so much. She's the absolute worst kind of person. Um, and Probably no good. Uh, like, oh, yeah, the kind that isn't honestly. a person. And it's like, she's just, she's a 100%, I have no other way of describing her, I'm sorry, but uh, she's 100% just a rich bitch. Yeah. <laughs> That's all she is. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And has no emotions for anybody, cares only about herself. Hey, my God. And like, totally. Sorry. So, yes. she's the, so 100% the, the worst Late person. 90s, Valley early girl. 2000s Valley Girl. Yes. Stereotypical. Worst, worst Valley Girl ever, and I hate her. Stereotypical in the most natural way possible. You know what I'm saying it's like awful. it wasn't overdone. It wasn't it was overdone, just, but you just hate her. Oh, we just don't like her. So, mm-hmm. uh, and she's also super rich. Um, well, of course, uh, city slicker simp is simping for his girl. <laughs> is um, simping hard for this girl of two weeks. I by forgot the way. her name. I, I never cared. I never knew her name, and I never cared. Um, Gina. so he, oh, his cousin, oh, Gina. his oh god. Um, Ooh. so his cousin comes to hang out exclusively with him and have fun with his with rich cousin and go hang out because they get along really well. But the entire time, the entire like week, the four days, sorry, that he's there, um, he, uh, old, old, old city slicker, Michael Siler, <laughs> um, is, um, Brandley. <laughs> Brand- Brandley. <laughs> we gotta stop because if someone named Brandley is listening to this, we're so mad at us. We have to stop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Kraz and Siler, if you're named that, I'm sorry, but like, dude, come on. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck were your parents thinking? <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, He's he's the whole time it's he's not your for his fault. Girl. So he's got his little cousin there, and that's where the movie kind of starts. He's got his little cousin, 
and he's just ignoring his cousin to do that, and they get yeah, mad to each simp other. for his girl. Dumbass. So then, what happens next? Well, uh, Ian, you pick it up. Oh man, dude. Okay, so he just he just ends up after after at this point we he's now leaving, right? Oh yes, yeah. So again, we, he's had probably like less than a week worth of neglect, and the boy kind of is like, "Heck you, yeah, you suck, man." I just was trying to be cool with you, and he he was gonna give him a gift and all that kind of. It was really. It was a really sweet boy trying to mm. do some good stuff, and he thought Very he was going to connect. Young man. Yeah, he thought he was going to do some good stuff with his cousin. Well, come to find out, uh, you know, his cousin, like I said, was, or we've all said before, was kind of stepping real hard for his girl. Yeah. And so he ends up leaving, and of course, like, you know, it's kind of frustrated at him and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, of course, uh, old Zyler's parents get all pissy with him because, <laughs> again, he's, like, neglected his cousin, wrecked the car. He doesn't care about like, anybody except for himself. And, and they're like, girl. we talked about this. Yeah, and, and so his dad's like, like does the old one man, two on him. His dad so, drops ooh, the man. hammer like that. Oh. oh man, that dad was a hundred percent a Chad, and I took notes. Dude sat down. It was definitely like, <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna you're gonna go on a farm. You're gonna work, and then of course he specifies for free. Yeah, for and, a whole month for free. Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> and he's like, and then you know, hopefully you're gonna learn some stuff. And, and he's, he's like, like, oh no, I can't like, have my trip to Europe. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Which and he's trying to go. Like, oh wow. He, him and his, he, the girl. He's him and the girl. He's simping for. Are trying I, to go to Europe. Can I just say before we continue, is that this movie did everything right? Is the definition of paying off? Man, it sets up everything. Everything. And then it just right. pays off everything before the end of the movie's over with. Yeah, and the whole thing felt great. I wasn't left not wanting any more questions or no, any more answers to any uh, questions I, I had. It's a movie of basically three acts, and every act is just fire. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yeah. this movie, honestly, did nothing wrong There's except point- for Gina, who I hate, but that's because I had to hate yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, she was the antagonist technically. I think <laughs> it's even funnier. She's the antagonist. <laughs> what a freaking bitch! Sorry, um. yeah. but anyway, so it's like so he ends up going to the farm. He ends up working his ass. He's off He's never for like picked a month. up anything. He has never looked at a our, hammer. In our his boy, life. his name, and may I say, one of my favorite characters. He's the grizzled old cowboy oh, man. We should introduce those and characters. Actually, his so, name is Twister. 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 So, but I, again. He is introduced as oh that's twi- oh he's the backbone oh, yeah. of the oh, farm. that's Twister he's the backbone of the farm and of course throughout the next couple of scenes I can only remember his name as Backbone <laughs> and so I <laughs> even forgot that yeah but, so uh, but the, this guy's like you ain't work much have you yeah, <laughs> yeah. so it looks at whenever his hands. he first gets on the farm obviously Tommy's like we're gonna be getting up early and doing stuff and he's like yeah yeah but then they introduce him to the two hard workers on the farm and yeah. one of them is the is old Backbone yeah. named Twister. <laughs> and the other one, his name is Mule, and I like the character you because this just shows how like of a of a rich nerd he is. He <laughs> says, "My name's Mule," and he's like a Native American guy, and he's like, <laughs> "Who gave you that name?" And he said, "My great grandfather." Well, my great grandfather, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "Wrecked kiddo." Yeah. So, uh, Mule, hands down, is my favorite character, not because he has any particular amount of lines or even does anything, but just because he's the Hallmark Disney Channel, like D- Hallmark DCOM. Oh um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know what it is in that era of movies. They all had to have their Native American with very long hair, but it was way too chill for his own good. Like he straight up, like in every scene, he smoked hookah right before he got on the scene. <laughs> like every, he was so cool. But then also, he had remarks toward oh. the kid that were completely respectful, but also were amusingly cutting. He was such a well, it was well acted. Oh, yeah. He had he so had very good. little words, but what words he did have were really great. Yeah, well, he's like there was one scene where he's like putting uh, wood in the truck and it's the wrong truck or whatever right and so you have to see the movie to get more than that oh yeah of course uh, and so he's like and then he like manages to roast the kid without even being rude about it he's like <laughs> c- c- come with me <laughs> and he's just like yeah i figured you might you might want to see that because uh, you, you really thought that that truck over there it looked like the most if you've ever been in the south you've seen a, a rundown truck that's just been sitting there 15 years you know that, right? But this guy lived in Los Angeles. He's never seen a vehicle not working before. So he just assumed that this worked and just looked bad, right? Well, he's like, I'm surprised you thought that worked and just kind of moves on. And I was like, man, you said that so kindly, but also it was so cutting. I yeah. loved it. <laughs> Mule, hands on my favorite character. Dylan, yeah. who is your favorite character? I, I gotta go. Don't say Zyler. Fuck no. I gotta go with <laughs> Twister. Yeah, he, he's a good one. He's mm-hmm. Twister is like Twister's mule, except uh, he doesn't Tough have the... kind of mean. No, no, no. Not kind of. Super mean. He, he, <laughs> no. do, he doesn't yeah. have... For a good reason, No, though. no, yeah, no. Not not even... It's just... that's He's yeah. an old southern mean man. That's what they yeah. are. They're just trying to make you gruff and tough and 
you know. It's old cowboy. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. all it is. He's just an old cowboy. He's just like Mule, except he doesn't have the hallmark Native American, I'm nice to people, and I'm like an old man thing. Dude, no, he's just a gruff I, southern guy. I can't remember <laughs> I can't remember exactly um Quite frankly, when, you don't give a darn. Yeah, that that's is, what I'm talking about. There was a point whenever... You know that they meant to say, damn, gave, but they couldn't because it's a decom. Yeah, because it's a decom. <laughs> <laughs> this, dude, this dude catches the guy sleeping on the job, and he's like, what are you doing? And he's like, I was waiting for you. And, oh, yeah. You never put dude, your hands to anything in your life, have you? It's not hard. You just replace the broken... Uh, what is it? The broken post with the new post for yeah. a fence. It's going to take me like a week. I was like, well, well you might want to get started working. Dude, it, like, it just... It, it, like don't I said, give it, a darn. It just kind of paid off in a lot of ways. Yeah, As the second act of the movie progresses, like the first act did a really great job of establishing who your main character is, what and his why struggles they were, why they now hate each other, and why they now have a frustration with each other. Um, and again, you kind of establish this hoe character. Oh yeah, no, she total then, absolute hatred for her. Yeah, but of course, as it kind of like progresses. You can see, like, at one point, uh, Zyler's phone breaks after a stampede oh, yeah. happens when he's on the phone with his girlfriend or whatever she was. Yeah. And then... The he's next he's, scene is like... And, like, yeah. And then he... It, it helps because then he's like, stops talking to her for a while because he has to, right? Because yeah. at that point, that was, that was night two on the farm. So yeah. he... <laughs> He had talked to crazy. her. Was night he, he had talked to her both nights, right? Yeah. So now it's just assumed that for a while he doesn't get to, and then he gets to the phone and actually talks to her. And then that next conversation between that first, uh, between that the last one they had where his phone broke, yeah. And that one again, you can already see that he's kind of already fed up with her because she's just being so like, he's Aggro. talking about he's talking about things that are happening and like talk about all these things that were going on, kind of like, awesome things and pivotable, kind of kind of thing like kind of like oh it sucks like my family is losing their farm and she's like can we talk about something less depressing and he's like. Gonna kill what you do you next mean? Time My family is losing their home, <laughs> right? Like this is hmm, kind of a wow. big deal. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. yeah. So, and then like it, it isn't at no point does he say like we're through and like dump her, but it, at the end of the movie, it ends with him yeah. not going on his trip so that he can help get the farm back. Yeah. So he doesn't go on his Europe trip, and he actually goes back to the farm and kind of, I guess, it, it's implied that he kind of gives up his rich boy life to help the southern people, which is kind of not neat. southern. From Montana. I don't know, but they're acting I Southern, okay? I, I think this they're whole cowboys. thing is, this is at North Carolina at the Northerners. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Right, like, right. this is, this is Montana. No, this is South Louisiana. <laughs> um, okay. So, South Louisiana looks nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> <right>. <laughs> there's no, there's no, no farmland looks like There's no that. free, r- free range uh, horse, Anything. There's yeah, no free range, in, except for gators. We got free range <laughs> gators here. All right. Yee yee. Okay. Maybe so occasional raccoon or possum. Right, right, little bastard. Oh, little so, bastards. Yeah. So, but yeah. Um, so, he goes back over there and helps with the farm. And it's kind of implied that he dumps old girl, but it doesn't really yeah. say it. Um, but you're... You know, you're happy. Congratulations. Yeah, so. right. You get, dude, honestly, you're going to get with a girl who's actually, like, not even not even good. You can, you're going to get with a girl who might just be, like, a 6 out of 10 on the crazy scale and just be, like, kind of annoying and maybe yeah. rude. But, like, you're going to be like, wow, this is so much better than that other chick I was with. Yeah. And, or you're going to get with a girl who's good and nice to people and not a horrible person. And you're going to be like, girl. man, Absolute what was I her. thinking whenever I was 20 years old? Yes. Because, like, bruh, she was so mean. Okay. <laughs> so, Dylan... This is your first time seeing this movie. I want you yes, to um, your turn, <laughs> and and some few words. I just want you to um, <laughs> recount your experience that you uh, you just went through. I came into this ready to uh, hey. just spit hot garbage, nice <laughs> all over. Just throw mm-hmm. shit. He, he also off the tails of us watching Riverdale, so he already had hatred I had, in his he had, mind he had, for bad acting and man, bad writing. I it had, was already fresh in his mind. I, I had two stacks of uh, lingering anger <laughs> readily available. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he had the debuff I already had, queued up. Yeah. I had I had fresh rage to pull from. But then, I movie, calmed him. This movie activated my cooldowns. Yeah, yeah. and I activated. walked away humbled. Really? Yeah, he had the humble buff active. Dude, did you? Did you actually kind of like learn something from the movie? No, I, I oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't learn Jack Squat. <laughs> no, <but. laughs> a- a- anything the movie could have taught me, I already knew, but I fucking loved it. Still, well, of course, yeah, yeah. it's a great film. It's it just a, just a nice movie. Yeah. I I liked it, I like like it does not seem like it would be. Yeah, yeah. It's if you easy. you look at it and you're like, oh, dude. Uh, dude uh, when I tell you uh, uh, a a 1999. Disney Channel original movie called Horse Sense. Trust me when I it's tell you. It's impossible. It, it just Bruh, sounds listen right. Listen to that. It sounds <laughs> right for making fun of. <clears throat> right now, we're going to just stop it there, and we're going to say any 
movie or film named a horse sense does not sound <laughs> like not it's gonna like be good what the dude can we talk about whenever they saved the youngest uh oh yeah the when their horse free range horse. Horse. Tommy young yeah old tommy young old tommy thing, young. you know it's a good movie because that's that name is said maybe twice in the entire movie maybe just once yeah and but you remember it. no it's said, it said twice the first time the name is said and the second time when tommy young's in danger yeah. the horse is seen well it looks like a horse like all the other ones so it's kind of hard to even say that but the name is completely memorable in Dylan's mind. That's how good this movie was. He mm-hmm. knew that that was Tommy Young, and well, he knew that they saved Tommy Young. Oh yeah. Well, I also just I try to memorize the names of every character. Well, just so even, no one gets dude, confused. Even I, even still, like that's there's a that point. name was said twice, dude. There's <laughs> a point where, the, where this wait. Wild. What was the uh, the um, the three three color paint? What was her name? I forgot. See, okay, I don't memorize the names of all the horses, yeah. mostly because I don't like fucking horses. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, uh, that was a bit of an unfair pull for me. I well, think. I was testing you, and you got a C plus. Okay. Well, I whenever they the shit up your they, tests, <laughs> whenever they pulled the horse out the mud, basically, there's a point where our uh, our young boy, cowboy. Is uh, Tommy. he's sitting there, Tommy, and he's like our young r- boy of cows. He's like rubbing the like he's like petting the like horse yeah, and telling covered him to calm in mud, down. petting and the a, horse. Yeah, yeah, he's true abso- southern man, absolutely covered in mud, and he's like trying to <laughs> calm down this horse to get it to come out the mud, and get unstuck, and all that kind of stuff. And it keeps going to Zyler's face. Dude, he looks it, like he is high when, as frick. When I tell you, when I, when <laughs> I tell like, you, oh my god, it's a horse. There, <laughs> if there was ever one scene in the movie where our main character boy. It may have gone activates on for his horse sense. Yeah, it was in this moment where he's step he's one caressing this no, horse. No, it's activated and one more time down. at the end. Oh, I mean, but but I was gonna say there's yeah. there's one pivotal moment where I'm like, mm-hmm. this is the horse sense they're talking I've about. I've seen all the <laughs> equations, and there's a point where like not only not only is our is our boy Tommy activating his horse sense, but by proxy, Zyler over there is like somehow tripping balls dude, too. He's tripping. He's like. I'm seeing my horse he's sense, got, yeah, right? He's got secondhand <laughs> like, horse sense. He's got secondhand sense. <laughs> I cannot. Secondhand sense. Um, Can I put that in the description? Secondhand horse sense? I, 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 I just like secondhand sense, honestly. <laughs> um, but like. It's like step it, it's, one, cover yourself in mud. Step yes, two, become caress one. the equine it, creature. Step three, prophet. <laughs> no, <laughs> step three. Open mm-hmm. the third eye. Yes. Yeah, and it, like cover yourself on, with the what earth I will of the say horse. Is that, that, <laughs> that earth and horse? No, no, no. The earth of the horse. <laughs> no, no I like I like earth and horse. And okay. Earth and horse more. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good. Clothe yourself in earth and horse. Speak its language and Skin look into its eyes. Hide. Look into its eyes and speak its language. And then kill it. Jesus Christ. No, no you're no, not killing kill him. No, you no. like life. What are you talking about? You become about? one with the horse. You need you, its sense. You then hop on its How back. How do you think it's acquired? <laughs> you're taking the senses from the horse. You have to execute. <laughs> you have to. You become you have the to, horse. You have you to also, execute one horse to save many with their senses. Okay, yes. okay, okay. okay. But, it's a sacrifice. But if you mm-hmm. kill the horse, you get to run as fast as the horse. Nice. That's faster than I can run. But what if I pay myself rent, though? Uh, then you'll then you'll be twice as fast. Makes you you'll be three times, three times as fast at least. Yeah. yeah. Well, so uh, I will really, admit though you, that if you horse, kill a red horse scene, oh. you're, dead. you're dead. Actually, that's too fast. <laughs> you die. Your heart rate will skyrocket to three fifty, and you die. Um, but no, what I will say is that that horse sense scene did go on maybe, maybe three cuts too long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but that's the best part. Like it that's keeps so cutting funny. back to Zyler and I'm like, we get it. Zyler's guess, mind is blown. He's on another planet. <laughs> if, there was, if, <laughs> if, there, if there was a sound for Zyler's face when he's in that, I, I love how we keep calling him on. It, it would have ke- kept going. Oh. Oh. Like if, if, if every, like every time, time oh. it cuts back to Zyler, it's just an old no, fucking it, dial-up note. No, no, no. no, 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 no oh, yeah. If it was a dial-up note, like something <laughs> loud, then you would understand how many times this cu- how many cuts this goes on right, because if it yeah. was a dial-up tone you'd be like man that dial-up tone's getting annoying right <laughs> yeah. that's what i think when i keep seeing the same thing over and over again i'm like okay i get it his mind is blown why yeah. am i seeing it again yeah um but yeah and at the end of the movie uh, our main character kraz zyler um, his real name's michael by the way <laughs> we've, we've said it but just not enough yeah, <laughs> freak. so uh, our main character Zyler, uh, after a horse race, everyone thinks that the the horse is he needs a professional to calm him down. And he's no. like, everyone's like, be careful, Zyler. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hurt Watch you. Watch out, Kraz. The horse is gonna hurt you. And he and then he's holding the reins and he's like, no. He just thinks that I'm gonna hurt him. And he's, then he's activate. He's, he's and he's petting the horse and he's like, shh, it's gonna be all right. 
and then the horse yeah, comes down, that's, and everyone's that's like, all the sense is. Oh my god. That's to be fair, you just go, she's gonna be all right. And that's and it. To be fair, like having worked with horses, yeah, pretty much. It works. Pretty this. much. Just get get where they can see you, and then just look at their eye and be like, hey, and just pat their neck, a little. Hey. I'm here for you. You're gonna it's, be all it's right. Me, that thing that mm-hmm. uh, takes care of you. And remember, then, uh, yes. say whatever, say whatever name they've got if they got one, and just be like, "Hey, <laughs> gentlemen, whatever the fuck you are, hey, like, pray to whatever god they serve." Right? <laughs> right. Excuse me, y'all. Pick a god and pray to it, kid. Don't you remember me? Yeah, I, yeah, dude. I want to get Come a horse. god, then pray. I, I want to get a horse and name it Yance so bad. Um, so. Yeah, at the end, his payoff is that he uses his horse sense and he yes. saves and it works. the day somehow, I guess. And everyone's like, wow. Saves the day somehow. But that's not even the end of the movie because you, you want to talk yeah. about payoff. Mm-hmm. Not only does it pay off in that regard where he gets to like show up her boyfriend or her girlfriend's dad or whatever. But and he her. Can, yeah, and her that he's a freaking horse genius now. But then he, <laughs> then he goes, but then not <laughs> only. Fuck you. Dude, not, I'm gonna, I learned about horses for a month. Not I'm only basically that, a man now. I'm a he, god. He feels, he feels bad for all the stuff that's going on <laughs> back at the ranch. So he sells his Porsche. He liquidates some of his, like, trust funds. His stuff, entire trust fund. And then and then takes that money and tries to give it to his aunt, which we've already established does not want the money because, again, she's not want the money. a prideful lady. So he liquidates who is his entire trust fund for no reason. But, again, you know, hey, that tweets are on. He's it's been a good guy. Cause. And she's like, it. your generosity has come from the right place. But we Fuck just off. we just can't keep this place going and making it profitable. And he's like, okay, makes sense. So the movie continues on. You're like, okay, they're selling all the stuff. It just it is what it is. Like, dang it. But, but then, then, but then, out of freaking nowhere, <laughs> I, I I love how even in the movie, he's like, oh, wait a minute. Hang on. They, that thing we're just talking yeah. about just now might come in handy. There was a, there was a, a scene earlier on whenever we first see his girlfriend and he's like in some kind of real estate class yeah, of it was some check kind off's of real estate yeah that knowledge. was the, that was my favorite <laughs> my favorite pay- payoff is that i actually called um, oh my god it was so, so funny actually, wait, let me let me get, pull up my notes cuz i had a different note too that was good too yeah. um um let me see uh just to set it up a little bit more he is talking with his cousin and like how he's like good in school and he's like well i got a d on a on a paper i wrote about uh some kind of real estate stuff that has to do with like yeah. you know all that kind of Stuff. And then, of course, he looks up and he's like, wait a minute. I yeah. I know about some of that. Even though he got a D on the test, he calls his dad. And, of course, his mom's like, mm-hmm. well, who are you talking on the phone with? He's like, I think it's my son, but I can't tell anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, <laughs> starts, a chuckle. starts asking, but like. Basically, he's, he's asking about um, uh, land trusts. Yeah, yeah. And uh, things like that. And in the very beginning of the, of the movie, he's like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I got a D on it. Probably means that this is, like, something about this is, like, really hard to read he makes a d joke where it's like yeah this is really hard to read some dumb joke right and he's like Haha, i got a d plus on this paper and he yeah. was talking about how boring land trusts were yeah. and he learns about it and then whenever at the very end of the movie <laughs> whenever he's like i learned about these these things are, are la- it's land trusts i learned oh. about these in school and they said well sort of but the problem is he said i learned about this in school and out loud i said well Sort of, and right after I said sort of, he said, "Well, sort of." <laughs> it, was, it, <laughs> it was it was beautiful, easily the funniest oh, thing so ever. Great, because I was Could gonna say to I, I was gonna say, "Well, sort of." Kind of bombed that test though, but whatever. You had to call your dad to help you, but then the character said it, and I was like, "I have to stop." Wait, ah, this is perfect. <laughs> yeah, you read oh, perfectly. Yeah. Kind. But I even still, that, they even had a payoff of him not studying, and now he's a now that he's got some hard work under his yeah. belt, he now understands the important god. things. And now he's a horse god. <laughs> Stop! He's one, no, 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 no he, it's funny. He's not, a, <laughs> he's, he's not a horse god. He's one of the many horse lords of Rohan. He's a uh, demi horse god. No, no, he's not even a. He's just a horse sensor. He just senses him. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> So he can look he's at horse he's sensitive. <laughs> he's horse. <laughs> <laughs> he just cries when he's around horses. No, no, he, like, like no, he's like, like force sensitive. Yeah, he's horse yeah, sensitive, yeah, like yeah. force sensitive. Like, he can just pick up horses with his mind. <laughs> no, 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 but no, 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 only horses. No, no. <laughs> no, he can only cry when he's around horses. That's what uh, I mean. <laughs> Imagine and also no, pick him up with his mind. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine him picking up horses while crying <laughs> and throwing them at his enemies. Oh, God. <laughs> like, oh, that's so great. That's a pretty, if you could pick up a horse with your mind, that's still a pretty good superpower to have. I love that. Like, in the grand scheme of things. pretty heavy from what I hear. 
Yeah. Hell, if you get on it and you pick it up with your mind, you could fly. Flying horse. Flying horse. <laughs> <laughs> Make it a Pegasus. Oh, no. Dude, um. I, I love that, like, after he goes to, like, the, the uh, he goes to the bank to try and get that land trust thing figured out, and he's, like, trying to talk to the guy, the banker, and, of course, obviously, he has no time of day for this guy, and he's just kind of, like, brushing him off, like, yeah, yeah, it's whatever. He finally yeah. gets into his office, and he's, like, he, like, he hits him with that, that line of, like, how... It can be more profitable if it's a land trust, all kind of stuff. Have a better bottom line. He tells them what any good capitalist from wants the Better to hear. Business Bureau and then like, Baton Rouge. St- shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, and then of course, there's this moment when like the the banker guy looks at him and is like, "Well, well uh, I'll think well, about it." Darn oh, shit! No, I was like, "Well, darn too." He's making some kind of sense. Exactly. And I was like, Perhaps "Some kind of horse to do with sources." Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh wait. This gentleman's a horse god. <laughs> <laughs> this gentleman's a horse lord. I can't lord. believe I didn't see it sooner. Oh my god! I just love it. He like has this moment where the I'm problem is there is a point halfway, not even, no, like a third of the way through the movie, where I'm I'm just sitting there, I'm watching it, and I look up and I say, "Guys, we have a problem." And and Dylan, with genuine concern, looks back at me, uh, and I was like, "Oh, it's funny. He actually thinks I got bad news." Because I said, "I got bad news, guys." <sighs> I'm freaking really enjoying this movie. <laughs> I 100% expected this to be funny and just to not like it. Yeah. The entire time. This, we're not joking. This was an enjoyable film. Yeah, <laughs> so no, like, that genuine look of concern came from the oh, fact yes. that I was worried you were going to eat all the cheese. It's, uh, yeah. It's worth, it's worth prefacing. Yeah. The, the genuine concern came from he, him thinking I was going to tell him that the bad news is I'm out of cheese. It's, uh, <laughs> I was not. However, that was, we're still, we yes. were still, we're in the clear on that front. That was a false alarm. Uh, not really anymore, but at the time we, we were in the clear on that front. <laughs> yeah. Um, but like legit Loki is it's I'm, actually a really like enjoyable I'm film. I'm surprised. I, I, hate, I hate it that it's named this way, but okay. I love it. I'm surprised for a movie in nineteen ninety nine that is probably does not have a very large budget. Or it, following. I've never heard of this movie before in my life. Right. It does a really good job with the writing and like the directing it's of it. Baffling. I'm beside myself that I enjoyed this movie. Yeah, I just was, wonder if any horses were uh, harmed in the making of this oh, film. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Many horses were. Fi- the horse god had to take his toll. The um, sacrifices weren't for nothing. Oh, of course. Yeah, I mean, for a movie this good, though, it was worth it. I'm it has saying. a sixty percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Really? What's wrong with these people? Yeah, that, you know what those tomatoes are rotten. Get rotten. The, get that out of Awful here. Awful people. You know what? Those people just don't have the horse. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. Oh, ninety-two percent of people liked it on. Yeah, we're part of that ninety-two percent. We did it. Oh shit, we are critics. (laughs) Nice, dude. I dude, Twister was such a good. Yance, yance. Oh man, like okay. And then not only that, also the um the the maid lady. Oh yeah, she was also the, the <laughs> I love best that, character. I love that one part. W- w- the one part when he gets back and he's like, he has love in his heart now. For yeah, he's a man now. All. He's a man <laughs> now, and he just like he gives he, her a little smooch he, on the cheek. He appreciates her, and then like as you know, he's about to get go away to go. He says thanks because she helped pack his yeah. bags and stuff, and he gives he goes up to give her a little hug, give her a little smooch on the cheek, and we're all kind of like, which all of us, uh, the lady yeah. included, were like, what the fuck? What the frick? What's well, wrong? No, with we're, we're, all, we're all thinking like, oh wait, he that's the maid. Why did you just kiss the maid? That's yeah. weird. And then it zooms on her face, and she's like, "Yo, what the hell?" And I was like, "Oh, good. The maid thinks this is weird too." Yeah, <laughs> like, so we're on the same page here. Yeah, but she was also a really good character. I, I liked her too. She was she was a nice character. She was a like, sensible oh, little, woman. yeah, little Tommy is all sad because you are le- are leaving him because you're and being such a piece of shit. Because you're being, you know, if this was a, not a rated G movie, I'd call you a rat bastard. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you want to know something funny? Sure. There's a sequel. What? what? <laughs> no, no. There it's not even. Be. It's not even like. It's not even like a horse scent sequel. What is it called? It's called Jumping Ship. What? Yeah, what? it came out like two years later. It has the same brothers. I, again, they're all the Lawrence brothers. There were a hot point in time where all those guys, the main actors in Horse Sense, are brothers, and oh they have God. a third brother. And of course, they played cousins in the movie, but they played a whole bunch of stuff, and they played another movie called Jumping Ship, and. Uh, it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Wait, there's a horse sense too. We have to watch it. It says, Michael, "Boat sense." Sorry. Oh god. Michael has big plans to show his cousin Tommy a good time abroad. A lu- or sorry, sorry, aboard I, a luxury oh yacht. God. Okay, I thought you were talking about like, oh, it's just the same actors, but no, it's the same character. It's the same character. What the fuck? Well, but it is the same actors there's, as well. There's a horse sense too. Until he discovers that the yacht is haunted. He's charted is actually an old rusted fishing boat. It's haunted. 
but when modern day pirates Moon chase the fishing boat, Bruh, the, modern the, boys, pirates, the boys are forced to jump ship, leaving them stranded on a desert Dude, island. What, what in God is this? With the boat's uh, captain, Jake Hunter. Oh my God. Jake and then, Hunter and is Kraz. We have Kraz yeah, and Siler. Like, We've done Jake, it. Jake Hunter is the third brother, and he's this boy down Are here. You fucking serious? Wait, no, let me see that. I've seen oh this movie. Oh my god! Yes, you have. Let me see it. Oh my goodness! This wait, is wait, horse wait. sense too. Oh my gosh! Oh wait, no. wait, 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 wait! <laughs> oh my lord! Wait, so which one's the youngest? The youngest is the one in the middle, I think. Okay, he does look like. Okay, there we go. Yeah, he's he, two he grew years up older. So much, yeah. Wow. Two years is a lot for an eleven-year-old boy, I think. Uh, wow, dude. Yeah. He. Wow. Wow. We have to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, my god! I'm gosh. not sure if it's a better or well-received, or I don't know. It's been a long time since no, I've seen guys, this one either. There's only one we're, way to find out. You want to know something funny, though? Is we're it watching both, Horse Sense, too. Both horse, next episode. Both hor- <laughs> Horse Sense. Oh, no. Sense. Come on. Not next episode. we got to space it out. And Jumping Ship are both an hour and a half long. So they're not even like two-hour-long movies. And that was another weird thing. Is this was an hour and a half long movie? This felt so long. At the end, toward the end of Act Two, I was like, "This feels like the end of the movie." Yeah. But there's still another act in which he has to come back and help the farm. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's a part where like we're like we're establishing like the climax of the movie, and Ethan's like, "Wait." We gotta like save the farm, don't we? Right? No, wait. Exactly. <laughs> and that was the thing is, I was like, <laughs> wait, no. Happen? I thought this was what I'm gonna admit, guys. They got me with this one because normally I'm like, ah, happy endings are cliche, but they got me with this one. I was like, but guys. The farm. No, guys. You gotta sleep. The farm. If that doesn't sleep. tell you enough about why this movie is so enjoyable, then I don't know what will. Because at that point, the guy who's always like, eh, happy endings are cliche, give me a kind of like a middle ground ending where like somebody yeah. dies or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, give me something that's kind of happy, but like also has like a sad, you yeah. know, a cutting ending. But this one, I was like, no, guys, the farm. What happened to the happy ending? Is life this cruel? <laughs> like, at the end of like the, end yes. the movie, there was no more room for joking. And I was like, no, I don't want this to be a harsh farm lesson i want to save the farm and they did luckily don't worry i thought you were gonna say a harsh farmless life i love the harsh and farmless life yeah i don't want to be a city slicker simp (laughs) (laughs) i love that like they also finished the movie like in a a way i didn't think they would Mm. it was like i mean it's still kind of a happy ending all things Mm. considered but it was just in a different means than i thought because like they kind of yeah there are like two instances where the movie could end and still be a happy ending. Yes, but it didn't end that way. Yeah. And then the good thing is we ended up getting rid of the lady, I think. The girlfriend. I wonder if the girlfriend Destroying makes a reappearance. the evil. Well, the thing with, but like I said, it's implied, not directly said that he dumps her. Because whenever he goes back yeah. to the farm, it's kind of implied that he stays there. I fucking hate that bitch. Well, I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it at least. And I guess now I'm we have. amazed. We have Horse Sense 2 or AKA Jumping Ship. Um, Bro, Horse Sense 2. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> to look forward to eventually, so. as as long as even if it's a bad movie, I think I'm still gonna like it. Just <laughs> it doesn't. It, no, I, again, we're going under the impression, just like with Horsens, that this is gonna be a bad movie. Oh, of course. Like I went into Horsens, like man, I can't wait for this trashy ass movie. <laughs> and I left there, and I was like, be rooting, be tooting, and fuck? by God, be shooting. Most of all, be kind. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to hate something. No, I did. I did hate something. <laughs> I hated that character. I hated that character. What's she was a Gina. Yeah, yeah oh, Gina. Ugh. Yeah, Gina. Yeah, I love that we here. weren't even like five minutes in, and of course, it's like an old movie from like everybody hates four eighty p. So again, either like four eighty p. You got hey, any more got pixels? Oh, yeah. pixels. <laughs> I was like, guys, you got any more pixels? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he yeah. was making breakfast, and I was like, got any more pixels? Because the bacon just looked so pixely, <laughs> crunchy. <laughs> yeah, what is that Not in visual the... effect of old grain? Grain, grain. just low quality. Yeah, film. grain like they fed to the houses. Love me some wheat. I love me. <laughs> I like my movies like I like my bread grainy. <laughs> <laughs> well, shuck me and call me some corn. No, no, that's dirty. <laughs> <laughs> that's dirty. We're going to oh, stop that one there. Anyways. And horse sense, everybody. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in this week. I'm glad that we got a chance to watch this movie and have a, a real fun time. Oh, I, I guess so now good. we will have to put... Jumping ship on the list uh, at least some point in the line. I, I, can't, know, I can't believe. I just. Movie. I can't believe it. But uh, I. Uh, <laughs> we have a link tree forward slash Ian Wolf. Uh, you can find all of our social media links there, as well as uh, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and all the places you can find 
us there and whatnot. Um, if you can. If you can. If this um, is your first episode listening. Oh uh, my let me gosh. Just, let me just go ahead Kudos and say, to you. Let me just say, if this is your first episode listening, I'm sorry. We do review other movies that yeah. are more yes. well known. Don't, yes. don't expect They're not any horses. more de- uh, de- 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 DCOMs. 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 But like, also, I just, if, you, if you're watching this for your first episode and you're like, why are they talking up horse sense? If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch it. Do your homework. Just, yeah, give, just it give it a good try. You gotta, if you hate it, that's fine. It's a 1999 movie called Horses. You're yeah. allowed to hate it. <laughs> right? You're allowed to. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ethan's like, you know what? I was going in hoping to hate it. But <laughs> right? guess what? If you, I came if, out a changed man. If you hate it, that's fine. It, it, it's literally called Horses. Yeah. No yeah. one will think less of you if you think it's a trash movie. Yeah. But also, ah, it's so good. <laughs> but if you have, but if you have Disney Plus, go ahead and just give it a little search. Give, it a good, give yourself an hour and a half. If take, you want to, hey, do a little homework. Uh, get a little ahead of yourself and watch Jumping Ship. Also, let us know how that is because we're gonna uh, yeah. be reviewing that in the next few. Weeks I can't. I, I can't speak that one. That one could be absolute trash. Oh, that yeah. could be yeah, hot garbage. It's <laughs> a wild. Car. It could be a steaming pile of garbage. I don't know. An <laughs> but factor. Jake Hunter. But uh, Jake but Kratz uh, and Zyler and, and Tommy and pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, but. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, as always, this is fun, and I really enjoy doing this. If there's any recommendations that you guys have, of course, you can hit me up on social media and uh, uh, start offering up some suggestions. We always are welcome to that. Um, but uh, until next time. Ethan was taken, was taken on Instagram. I started posting again, finally. No way. Yeah. Look at you go. Not uh, me. Yeah, not him. I died. Dylan's, Dylan's still silent on purpose. That's fine. He's stoic, is what we say. Um, <laughs> Until next time. <laughs> Yawns. Yawns. Bye bye.